you know, this is a point that we drive home quickly. Internally, uh, Chuck at, uh, at Quiet Light here, uh, he coined a phrase, and I've been using it lately. We just call it get ugly fast, right? Um, we we want to bring up the ugly stuff right away. My experience has been that buyers can handle the ugly. They can't handle surprises, right? That's right. It's when someone's surprised that they're like, Wait, what else didn't you tell me now? Like, yes. you know, that's, that's bad. I can, I can digest that, but I can't digest the fact that you thought you couldn't tell me that. <laughs> right. And I call with the client this morning. He's like, Elliot, I have no issue with anything that happens to diligence. But if I get the sense that the person's not telling the truth about one thing, I'm going to think everything I have is crap. Yeah, absolutely. So now, the conversation we had earlier about the seller may be telling Mark, I don't think this guy can close. What my clients often tell me is I think this guy is full of it. Yeah. And I have to have those same calm down conversations if I think the financials are right. So I am going to disagree with you. This will be the first time that we've disagreed on this call. And that would be with the okay. first point as to why somebody is, uh, is selling. And what, okay. what I'll disagree on might be just a nuance more than anything else. Sure. My experience, even as an entrepreneur myself, is that I don't think most sellers know why they're even selling fully. Or it, there's this big mix of reasons that go together that don't make it really neatly into a single answer, right? Mm -hmm. It could be a mix of, right now, we're, we're 2021, right? And right. We just went through 2020. One of the most tumultuous years to do business in the online world has been whiplash, right? A lot of our right. sellers, especially in the e-commerce space that were sourcing product from China, went through a period where uh, they couldn't order product because right. China was shut down. Then yeah. they could order product, but Amazon was prioritizing products that weren't theirs. And so they right. couldn't stock their product. Meanwhile, demand was going through the roof for their product. And so it was this weird thing. And, and, and so that was stressful. And now mm -hmm. they're having all these record sales and they've always sort of thought about an exit. And now maybe they want, you know, they're interested in another project because they're an entrepreneur. And so when I ask them, why are you selling? I get kind of this wishy-washy answer where that feels a lot more like, I don't know. I just know it's the right time <laughs> that, that something else. That's fair. Um, but I, I, I mean, hey, Mark, I mean, in, in reality, I think you bring up a good point. Um, the, the reasoning and rationale for selling changes over time. Like 2020 is going to put a lot of people on the selling block, if you will, for sure. Yeah. Because, yeah. Um, if, if you are in the last couple of years of your preference for owning a business, and a year like 2020 hits, I'm sure your phone's blowing up, right? Yeah. Um, and absolutely. you're right. Some of these folks won't have great reasons um, necessarily. But I, I honestly would say, like, as an entrepreneur, having been around entrepreneur for a long time, I think you sort of get what a reasonable one is and a not reasonable. And here's the other thing. One of the things we have to do on the diligence side is have some sense on how credible and full of integrity the the mark in the room is the sell side representative right are they pitching deals that they're okay with the guy not actually selling because they already took a fee and they're they're cool do they do they bring a lot of businesses to market that don't close and and so again like from certain representatives like seller representatives that i know i know like the background on the deal by the time i get it and so i don't have as much worry if it's a new person or I don't get the same warm fuzzy about integrity, it's different. So I think that's a fair rebuttal. Yeah. No, and, and you, it's, a, it's a useful question to, to, uh, uh, to, to ask. And what I would say is for those that have been in tune with the marketplace, you can read into the answers pretty, pretty quickly, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to read between the lines. And there's, there are some explanations which, look, yeah, they make sense. I'm retiring. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, that, yeah. That's easy. Yeah. I get that one. Um, you, you know, some of them make sense. Some of them, some of them, you kind of look at it like, uh, I think there's something else here. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. You yeah. know, and, and, and I think the best thing to do in that instance is ask. I mean, I think a valid question is talk to the seller about what he's going to do after he finishes. Yeah, absolutely. Does he have a story? Does he have a plan? Uh, you know, even if it's, I'm working on a business that's got better margins than this, or I'm more interested in like, well, tell me about this new thing that you're going to do. I like your old thing, but yeah. 